Hey guys, long time no see. I know I'm so sorry. Um, and yes, I cut my hair and I dyed it. I am no longer blonde. At least I don't think so. I think I got all the all the spots. Um, I did dye my hair dark brown. It looks kind of black, but it's it's dark brown. Okay, so I dyed my hair. I cut it because I will show you why. I got extensions so I've been wanting to have really long hair forever but what I always end up bleaching it coloring it doing something to it and so I've damaged it so it's taking a while for it to grow and my hair is curly so when it's curly it takes it looks even like it, like it's not even growing but it is it just it takes a while to get even longer um but I got extensions and look at that you cannot even notice so I got extensions because it was the bestest way to give myself longer hair. And so some extensions look funky. I ended up going for the clip-ons just because it would look the easiest and I didn't want to do the permanent like stitched ones. So I ended up getting these on Amazon, you guys, on Amazon. These were, I think they were like $110. They're real human hair. Uh, at least that's what it said and that's how it feels. Like it feels really soft and like real hair. It feels healthier than my own hair, so that's sad. But um, I'm gonna show you guys how I wear them. I ended up doing a lot of research on YouTube because I didn't know how to wear them. And I did end up cutting them as well just because it wasn't looking natural on me and I wanted it to blend in very well. I also ended up using my curling, not my curling, like my wave wand or whatever. I will show you guys that. So I ended up using this wand. Um, I'm calling it a wand, I don't even know it's a wand. A hot iron, I don't know, it's the wave one. It has great reviews on Amazon. Amazon's just bomb right now. Um, so that's what I ended up doing. I will have a separate video on how I use that and what I really think about it. Um, I think that'll be my next video that you guys will see but for now we're just talking about hair extensions and so these were about 110 which is a really good deal I know some extensions can be very expensive and these I believe are 120 grams which isn't a lot um, it's pretty thin but I don't have a lot of hair like thick hair my hair is pretty thin so but even they these were a little too thin I think I could have gotten a little bit more like maybe 140 or even a little bit more 200 I think it would have been a little too much but I made these work I'm really excited about them I really like them on it makes me feel pretty and long so I will show you guys how I ended up fixing it because I had a lot of trial and errors I didn't know how to combine it up in my hair so I will show you that right now I already kind of have my hair kind of like the same way thing going on so it'll be easier to blend okay so i switched to this side so you guys can see me better and my child is in the back so basically these are the extensions and i am going to lay them down and this is a seven piece or whatever so i got two i got two one pieces which go last then I have two, two clip ones that look like that, so those, and then I got two sets of the three clips, which is a little bit thicker, so I got two sets of these, one, two, and three. So these three, which will go first, and then I got one large four clip one, which is this one. So. I start off with the third one with the three clip one one two three I don't know if you guys can see that so that's what I'm starting off with and then the other second one so I start off really low I start off like where my earlobes are like low low and then I kind of just gather everything else up and I just get my hair scrunchy and then I kind of just tie it like whatever's just to get out of the way you can use clip or whatever you have to hold up your hair okay, so this is how it looks from the back so since like I showed you I already did the whole little thing and then clip it up so it opens up I don't know if you guys can see that but they kind of open up um, and then I go to the back 
and I kind of do the same thing twist turn it or whatever and then kind of just clip it okay give it a tug make sure it's there okay on top of my earlobes and then I kind of go scoop scoop there it is okay this is the best way I found to like make it look natural I put the big thick ones on the bottom first instead of doing the like twos because that seemed like very little hair and it just looked too baldish at the bottom like too thin I felt like I had something in my nose okay so then I go in with the second three clip one and then I lay that one on top so I did underneath my earlobes and then I did on top of my ears and then I'm gonna go somewhere on here my eyes so I'm trying to lay them kind of close because I kind of have, I feel like I have more volume looking on top. So I kind of want to level it out by layering as much as I can on the bottom. I'm going to create like the four clip ones, but we're using the two. So I'm going to use one pair on this side and then the other pair on the other side. Which is a little bit higher than my earlobe. So. And then I go in with the other side. Okay. Like that. Let me show you the back. Hopefully you can see the back. So that's how it's looking. You know. So I'm going to go somewhere around my eyebrows. This doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think it does. To have the perfect line. As long as it's... I, I like to make sure my fingers kind of meet up in the middle if they're way off then I kind of do it again so they're kind of close to each other so that's how I do it I usually go and scoop and if they're like this that's close enough but if I'm like way they don't even touch then I do it all over again until they're close enough now I am going to use the four piece just to cover everything up on the other clips do I have something black in my nose I feel like I have something black Okay, so now we go in with this large piece. Whoop. Okay, so there you go. That's the last piece. So that was it, covers everything else. And now we let go of the first other part. And I part my hair around here. And so now I go in with the one pieces. And again, I'm no professional at this. Um, I'm pretty sure there's other girls that know how to do this better. But this is what I do for my hair. So I kind of go in, check where it kind of needs to be. So I go around here, around there, lift that up, and I put it around that area. My hair poofy. And there you go. That is how my hair looks. Okay. I kind of feel around. Everything looks pretty good. Nothing feels like it's sticking out. Whew. And now I can either, I usually either part it in the middle and voila. You know, kind of blend it in. I mean, if the baby hairs in the back bother you, you can always like roll them up and pin them. It doesn't really bother me. Um, especially if I hot iron them together, they kind of like blend in with the longer ones. But this is how the end result looks like. So I like it, you guys. Look at this. I got long hair. So this is how I ended up using my hair. I guess I could always also move it on this side. Make it look a lot more fuller but bam you guys for a hundred bucks this is a really really good deal feels healthy feels good i really like them so i will link them down below 
they have different colors as well um i considered getting the blonder ones and kind of mixing them but i mean you can play around with it and i didn't spend like 200 300 dollars on some pair of extensions if these get nasty then i'll probably end up buying different ones new ones but you can wash these hot iron them and everything so ooh, exciting hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe bye